We're looking here at a satellite composition of what was monster storm, Melissa. It was a category five. It has weakened since then and is moving northward. You know, we're going to be hearing a lot of terms in the next few days, and that's because of the transition that this storm is going to take. It's still going to be impacting Canada, but not as a hurricane. So we talk about tropical storms, we talk about post-tropical storms, extra-tropical. The problem with post-tropical and extra-tropical, you think post-tropical, well, that means it's not really a big storm anymore. You think extra-tropical, and you're like, well, that must be a major storm. And none of, none of that is true. I'm Kim McDonald. Melinda Singh is here. We're going to break down tropical and post-tropical first of all. So when it comes to tropical characteristics, we see the energy source from the ocean, the warm sea surface temperatures. And of course, we have a very strong eye wall with an eye, and around it is very strong thunderstorms and a very symmetrical wind field. What's different with post-tropical, Kim, is totally the opposite. The wind field becomes much broader, more widespread, so it's lacking that clear core. We're also not really seeing much thunderstorm activity around the entire storm as well. And especially as it heads more northward into the Atlantic waters, we're seeing not as warm, it's more cold and hurricanes and tropical storms like warm waters. Yeah, they really need it. That's what makes them so strong. And this storm was in the water moving so slowly that it had time to really strengthen and that was the problem by the time it hit jamaica it was really at its peak it was so strong from those warm waters obviously the farther north you get in the atlantic the cooler the waters become it's still a decent storm but it just doesn't have that tropical quality yeah you're absolutely right with that kim overall though this is what we are seeing as we head into friday and saturday this tropical uh, low pressure system rather it's going to be scooping up moisture from Melissa but also when it comes to the track it also depends on what we will be seeing in parts of eastern Newfoundland okay so we've got ourselves a post tropical storm also extra tropical so post tropical means it was once a tropical storm extra tropical means it's a storm that has fronts on it so it's pretty decent as far as bringing heavy rain and strong winds. So this will have an impact on Atlantic Canada. Very heavy rainfall Friday into Saturday. Halifax, you could be seeing quite a bit of heavy rainfall through Thursday, Friday. And Kim, the gusty winds could be expecting upwards to 100 kilometers per hour. 